Moshi Moshi, my name gamers, and welcome back to Genji Impact. After several twists and turns, you finally understand the captain's plan and goal to reconstruct the ley lines. This seems to you a whiskey and feather, one of which must be discussed with Makuka's post haste. Today, we'll continue doing the Archon Nightland quest. Look at the stand of flames. Marika! <sighs> Traveler, Paimon Seat Lali. Perfect timing. I've located the captain. Oh, really? That's great! We also just took a peek at Auroran's memories and discovered something huge! Oh, uh, all with his granny's permission, of course. Or no, actually, it was... Uh, calm down, Paimon. I'll take it from here. I was doing everything. It's like, so what happened is this is yet. Uh... So the captain was searching for the source mechanism to reconstruct the ley lines. If his plan is already in motion, that means he knows exactly how to accomplish his goal. We have to stop him. Is reconstructing the ley lines a bad thing? Yes. It's not a simple fix. It would mean sacrificing nearly everything contained within the current ley lines, very similar to the price of using a Gnosis. If he activates the mechanism, it's all over. We need to mobilize our forces as soon as possible. But what forces do we have? Kanich, Shilonen, you two, and myself. All other warriors are working to push back the Abyss on the front lines. But that's barely any people! Not to mention you lost your power, and they've got Maybe we really should get Seat Lally to break Oran's legs. That won't help us with the captain, I'm afraid. In any case, the Masters of the Nightwind are in urgent need of manpower. Seat Lally, I was hoping you could head back and help defend the tribe. All right. I understand where I'm needed. I'll head out right away. Don't worry about your grandson. We'll figure something out for sure. I'll leave him to you all then. All right. Back to the matter at hand. I don't believe defeating the captain needs to be our ultimate goal. Let me grab Shilonen and Kanich, then I'll tell you my idea. Alright. And then, what's next? They did. That was quick. As you all know, Auroran is working with the captain and we need to stop their plan. The captain is a formidable opponent, but that shouldn't deter us. In any case, a head-on confrontation isn't the best way to solve the issue. Their plan hinges entirely on a single element. The source mechanism. If we leverage our forces, we can destroy it, and then success is ours. We'll head out together. In the event that a confrontation becomes inevitable, I'll stall the captain while you advance. Oh, I forgot he has no voices. No, you are later, and you lost your power. You shouldn't be the one to face the fucking captain. I agree with Kanich. The two of us can handle it. Listen to my plan first. Kanich. I want you and Ahau to launch an assault from the front and break through the Fatui defenses. The captain won't be on the front lines. As a seasoned warrior, he'll be stationed in close proximity to the device to ensure its protection. So you want us to lure him to the front? No. The purpose of the frontal assault is to gather the Fatui forces in one place. That way, it's easier for the rest of us to avoid them. Shilonen. I need you to do what your tribe does best, and dig a tunnel from the outskirts of the ruin. Once we get close to the device, we just need to destroy it. So, Shalon is launching the main assault. Exactly. The Traveler and I will join her as well. No one can create a distraction better than you, Kanich. Not even myself. By combining our strengths, we just might manage to break through the Captain's defenses. Leave it to me, Mother. <laughs> I said Mother. Understood. Then we should, uh, head out now. Just promise us you won't do anything reckless. You cannot face the captain straight on unless you have no other choice. You mean everything to us. Losing you would be the worst possible outcome. I'll also try my best to not let things get to that point. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. You have my word. I'll proceed with caution. Okay. So this is, like, the next act. Yes, it is. Which is... Boy, the rainbow distant to burn. All right, this is the place. Their tunnel. It was apparently next to the teleport spot. I could have just teleported. Any of the nearby mountains could be a good infiltration point, but if we want to stay under the radar, we should approach from the side. I agree. Aha and I will handle things from the front. There are only a few Fatui stationed around the perimeter. We should take care of them first, so they can't alert anyone. All right. 
so I heard that Ahaha is also no voice nice, so how am I gonna sound like him? Just curiosity. Okay, let's be careful and be cautious, like you said. Hey. Are they gonna? Hey! Wait, where else do I go? Defeat 14, buff drop. Let me go up if you excuse me, game! Okay, at least we can run up. Uh oh, E, 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 E. Come on, dude. There you go. Woo! My goodness. Fire crystal. Why is this block? <gasps> I see a chest underneath. I didn't see that coming. Why fly? I'm going to the story crystal already. I'm just walking as a monster. I'm innocent. Hey, what up, you guys? Nah, I should clean me. Duh. I hit you. Hello. Let me get out of this thing. I don't need this body. We're good. We're fine. You're fire. It doesn't matter. Because I got teammates I can use to burn down your ice. Hey! Watch it, dude. You're, getting... You're freezing up. Typically, position gives no shits. I'll be fine. Are you fine? Oh, we got a healer. Okay, Beto. Just swing away, just swing. Yeah, touch me. Go ahead. Go ahead. You're almost dead. Great magician! Yeah, let's go. We got this, we got this. Alright, that's done. Let's head to the freaking mountain. So, rowing nearby. What do you think, Shilonen? Is this a good spot? Yeah, looks good. We'll take it from here. Keeping a quest puzzle test plot, try, try people from the Trinity of Echoes make a quick work of digging I a tunnel. I can see the inside! Perfect. We'll keep going. The rest of you should head back. Things are about to get dangerous. Alright. Please, take care. Yes. Let's keep it down and ooh, a wound domain. A dragon wound from Akati. Within if our hidden lodge device that can affect the ley lights. You must make every single count if the cats in Oahu's where the plan is to be stopped. Okay, we're inside the domain. The wouldn't concentrate all their forces in one place. There's sure to be guards on the inside, so stay sharp. Oh, nice job smashing those rocks, Moiko. You look super cool. Ah, that was some expert level rock clearing, even by my tribe standards. Uh huh. Okay, this has chests. I'm gonna grab it. I'm gonna put a magic pocket, as Lenny would say. Damn, yeah, look at this place. Every domain I'll continue story quest that I get goosebumps. They amaze me. That must be the Fatui tunnel over there. We should steer clear and approach from the side. What if we don't, huh? I would do it, but now let's follow the orders. Let's go this way. And then keep on going. Would it be chess? Anyway, else on the one I found so far? Okay, enemies. Hey, you fuckers! Oh, okay, let's see. Is that water? So, oh, a sniper! Okay, we're fine. Oh, he's trying to fuck me! Okay. Let's go. Try this. I killed your friend. Okay, let's do this. Ooh, 3k damage. Oh. Good oh. person immediately. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Oh, come here. Oh, come on. I waste my time. Say, Katina, you got this. You got this. Hey. Not Lenny. I was trying to get Beto. There you go. What the hell are you go? Oh, you trying to sneak up my ass, huh? You trying to grab Beto's ass? 
No, uh, not today. Too bad, not. Dead. Ooh. Hold on a second. Let me heal. Let me real quick. Let me go heal him up real quick, actually. I do get extra food. Even I don't cook anything anymore. I barely cook. Okay, I'm gonna feel this. Um, I think what I gave him gave me healing effects. You know what? Let me drink this too, Lenny. You said, is this fine? It tastes like. Oh, it's apple sins in there, mine. What do you mean, Lenny? You're fine. Let's go grab this. <sighs> this spell is from the Masters of the Night Wind. It's Auroron's doing. They're probably trying to buy time. But I'm an icon. I could touch this. See? <laughs> you got it, we got it. Okay. That's it? Huh. Need a surfboard? Okay. Damn, what are we? Relics from ancient times. We should try to restore them. These mechanisms probably control that wheel, right? Let's give them a try. Curious to touch an arrow point? Uh, do I like spinning? Oh, I see an angle. Yeah, there you go. Got it. That's one down. Next. Okay, F activate. Wait for it to spin a little more. Let's keep on spinning, keep on spinning, keep on spinning. Waiting. Okay, it doesn't look right, actually. Hold on, hold on. Let's spin a little more, actually. Does that look right? Hey! I stopped too early. Okay, I'm gonna let's spin a little more, actually. That's probably right the first time, actually. Um, uh, let's wait. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Keep on there! Ah! Okay, we're getting to that spot. And we stop! That looks right. Is it just those two? Wait a minute, what? Wait, hold up. The hint is, okay, it looks like that. Are you telling me the one in the middle? Where's the other one? Checking my vision out. Oh, I see the other one. It's down there, actually. And hook, hook the other side. Wake up, bitch! And boom! Okay, these guys are annoying. When I was grinding for uh, weapons, Oop. do it again and swing. It's gonna uh, damage. That's okay. Yeah, Mulane, you got it. You all on this one. Oh, uh, they're not that difficult. Swing your bow, Lenny. Dopeness is the back. Okay, we're good. We're okay. There we got this. He almost on. Hey, blast me. Go ahead, that's Beto. Oh, we always got you there. Beto, dodge it! Oh my goodness, how long, how long does that blast? We're good. Woo! Now, we'll just get a little keep on spinning. That looks off, actually. I just look the way it looks. Okay, let's spin. Just look off. I think it does. It looks like it's off. Ooh, I think it is off. Let me actually switch it around especially. From what I'm seeing, it's a dragon head. So how am I supposed to stop this? Where do I stop this exactly? Like, do I stop it well? Um I'm just gonna sit and wait, actually. Just waiting until it gets to that angle, that certain angle. It looks like that. Not from the inside. This is gonna be a while, people. And then let's stop it. 
I'm trying to press stop, not from the view hint. That was annoying. Ooh, okay. Ooh, okay, it's shown, it's shown. What we're supposed to do next. Good. We're getting somewhere. Not again. I was, I'm not trying to do that. And... No, that's not it. Let's keep going, let's keep pushing, let's keep pushing. Ooh! That right? It's just one more thing to do. Okay. One more. Activate. There you go! We got it! The gates have opened. Christ, there's a monster one. Get out of this. Let's get the chest. Because why not? Da, 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 stop the cattle on. Oh, the heal! That's what it looks like. He's like, what do you do here? <gasps> An icon? It's like, yes. They'll actually heal. Who oh, would have. Oh my god. This must be it. Here they are. Oh, the captain's here too. <laughs> Perfect. Looks like they focus their defenses over there. Oh, they're here. Huh. I thought the Pyro Archon would choose a frontal assault. It doesn't matter. They're too late anyway. Stop! It's too late. We need to turn it off. There's still time. I won't let you do this. Oh, we're gonna fight him. Hold on. What's going on your head? The sound of lament. What was that sound? It was like a piercing cry. Now's our chance to turn off the device. So close, we have to push from the side to load the captain away. Oh no. Oh, Auroran? How did he just... <clears throat> His movements have gotten a lot faster. Was Auroran always this good in battle? Surely! Defense now! Did you just punch Shaloni? Something's wrong. The guy has helped Shaloni? Why? Oh! Just in time. I guess I could thank you? She's like, why do you save me? All of those hand movements. <laughs> Looking down like you're the Undertaker. You are not a Roron. Who are you? Uh, what? What? <laughs> Commander. You. So, you still recognize me, Commander? I'm glad. Although, I believe you have some more pressing concerns at the moment. Who's that then? No! Turn that shit off! <laughs> you see? You indulge your sense of honor for just a moment, and now you've lost your chance. Even now, you're still the same as ever. His voice is completely different. Is... is someone inhabiting Aurora's body? Stop worrying about other people's survival, about their losses and sacrifices. You just need to win. That must be why I've returned. For this moment. Please finish what you set out to do, Commander. <sighs> I didn't expect to see you here, but I have to disagree. Abandoning one's comrades is not the way of a warrior. Why do you care about a doomed man? I know you can see it. He's already close to death. After all, his soul has been incomplete from the start. <laughs> I'm so confused! What do you mean? Like, this guy or this guy? <laughs> Who is controlling this dude? Is it one of the Fatui characters? Did I see in the trailer? Oh, said I'm close to death. Is it because of that noise just now? The piercing cry came from underground when I activated the device. What's down there? It's his fault. Natlan's ley lines must be hiding some kind of secret. Wait, so is he stretching or front stretching? Is it is it That's your parents? Uh, am I dying? Oh no. It's too soon. Ah, Aurora, it's you. What will it be today? Oh. Why the long face? Uh, don't tell me you still haven't let that go. I knew it was a bad idea to tell you. I... 
I heard everyone wanted me to be the savior. Savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? Ron, is that you? Oh, here, have a seat. Let Granny cut you some fruit. We just got a fresh right, okay. batch. I Can I, I just, get I you anything else? Some grilled meatloaf, no, maybe? Ask for anything you want. We've got plenty of ingredients. What about those spiced rub mushrooms you made me last time, Granny Kuimi? Ah, you liked those, did you? An outlander <laughs> taught me that recipe, actually. A merchant, to be exact. <laughs> Never thought about going into business yourself, my boy. You could travel all over. Our Aurora? A merchant? He's far too honest for that kind of work. Well, at least an honest merchant like him wouldn't prey on old-timers like us. Hmm. Everyone said a true savior does not really exist, but then... Why did my birth open the door to the possibility? I don't want to use my phone. My phone's asking why give people false hope? Maybe I don't need to sacrifice myself, but surely everyone is born for a purpose. So, what's mine? If I had succeeded back then, would the world have become a better place? For yourself. Uh, what's the meaning of my existence? Done spacing out, Auroron? Did you finish your homework? Yes, Granny. It's just... <sighs> Will learning all this really make me as strong as you? <laughs> of course not! I'm a special case. Other shamans study their whole lives without reaching a fraction of my abilities. <sighs> because you're a genius, right? Uh, you could say that. <laughs> or maybe I've just been alive longer than the rest of them. And picked up a few tricks that they didn't want to touch. Uh, <clears throat> It's rude to bring up a woman's age. Never do that again, no matter the circumstances. <laughs> um, I wasn't the one who brought it up. Anyway, class is canceled tomorrow. Go have fun. What about my homework then? Uh, do what you want. What use is it being as strong as me anyway? You've seen how the tribe treats me. They're all afraid. I try to go about my business and they practically tremble in fear. Not the most fun way to go about living one's life, I'd say. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. Granny didn't say it outright, but I think she was trying to comfort me. Don't force yourself. Don't beat yourself up over the past. That's what she always says, but I never forced myself. I never even got the chance to try before it was all over. Hey, you zoning out over here again? There's such a thing as overwatering the radishes, you know. I was just looking at the aphids. Something interesting about them today? Uh, I noticed some on the ground. Maybe it got too cold yesterday and they couldn't handle it. Bummer. Guess that means less honey this year. Aoife, do you think mm, being a vet is fun? Fun? I'm not sure about that. Do you think planting vegetables is fun? Fun enough, I guess. I don't have anything else to do. Exactly. Most people live like that. Okay, no special purpose or call. That's it's just how the world works. Oh, jeez. That troublemaker's at it again. Aurora on my man. Come inside and give me a hand, would you? Why should I? I thought being a vet was no fun. Wait, well, I guess there is a fun part. Try to outsmart the vet. Come on, give me a hand. Maybe Aoife was just too nice to tell me the truth. That attempting something above your capabilities will kill you. My soul is unstable. I only survived because I had people to help keep me in one piece. A part of me has always been missing. That's why the other spirit said I was close to death, but... Why struggle? It's a miracle you were even born. Just close your eyes and wait for death. Who the fuck are you? It was you. The thing that came out of nowhere. Thing? I'm a warrior. Far stronger than a weakling like you. I'm not weak. 
There's just a limit to what I can do. And that's exactly why your fantasy is so ridiculous. Another Kongu person. You really think a useless thing like you can save the world? Useless? Savior? Ha! Sounds nice, doesn't it? <laughs> but, uh, uh, does such a person truly exist? Even if they do, why would you have to become that person? Exactly. Most people live like that. No special purpose or calling. That's just how the world works. <sighs> Take it from me. The happiest people are the ones who do their own thing. So do what you want, Auroron. No matter what anyone else has to say. But... I don't want things to end here. Auroron? It's all right. We'll take things from here. Every time they marched into battle, I had to stay behind. Don't worry. With the Archon on our side, the Abyss doesn't stand a chance. All the best warriors are fighting on the front lines. I want to do my part too. Both of us are bound to disappear. But your end will come sooner than mine, because you've been broken from the start. Once your soul shatters into pieces and dissipates into the wind, I will take temporary control over this body. I will serve my commander until the end. No. No, this isn't right. My life can't end like this. I, I still haven't done anything important with my life. My end will not come first and I'm not giving up. I can't die here, no. I won't die here! Damn! My boy's giving at all. You know he's goofy and all. Push it. Fuck this guy. Aurora. Aurora. <sighs> that voice. Control your mind. Feel the ground beneath your feet. This is not your end. You're jumping towards the light? Like, I see the light! Oh, you get out? Oh, he did! But hey, that guy dragged back down, like, hell no. I. Now I have big bullshits myself. He's like, Blue, oh! Black, white, come. I need to shut the fuck up. He's alive! He's like, hey, guys. Well done. You managed to do the impossible. Uh -huh. What do you mean? Don't try to talk. Focus on holding yourself together. He's like, okay. Oh, I can't believe the captain did that. Maybe he thinks of Aurora as a comrade. He was helping to rein him in all this time. This is the only reason I had to just turn off the device. Oh, I, I'm fine now. Damage to the soul is a tricky thing. The pain almost consumed you for a moment, but you managed to hold on to yourself. That's no easy feat. The worst appears to be over. <clears throat> I'm sorry for causing so much trouble. We can talk about that later. Our plan. It failed, didn't it? I'm sorry. We were so close. You saved my life. And now, the debt is repaid. Auroron. I never thought you actually wanted to sacrifice yourself in that ceremony. But you never gave up. Have you come to a conclusion on what it is that you truly want? I just want an answer. A reason why I exist and why everyone always did so much for me. No one is born a hero. And no one should be treated like one from birth. I had a chance to do something important back then, but I failed. All I want is to find some more ways to make up for that. The answer you seek now lies before you. <gasps> He's like, what the fuck is that? <gasps> it's an ancient name? You are the inheritor of my name. The hero from the masters of the Nightwind, who shall fight for this generation. Fascinating. Damn! Holy not shit, the person that the others thought you were. And yet, you're also not the kind of person that you thought you were. It can take a lifetime to truly discover who we really are. Like you. I never thought I had what it took to be a hero. I was too cunning, too self-absorbed. But in the end, I sacrificed my life for this nation. Now, 
Remember your name. Even if others will see a different meaning, it still symbolizes your nobility and yearning. My ancient name. BD. Nice, we found another hero! It means devotion. Just one more, right? We will give your all, not for the sake of a heroic death, but to do justice by the answer you found for your life. For that answer, you will offer all of your strength and be born anew. Through your devotion, you will prove your worth. Having foretold his own death, the omniscient man holds a feast in celebration. Let us raise our cups in honor of his heroism and send him off with this final tribute. For at last, his wish is now fulfilled. <laughs> it's nice to see you again, Sunhudge. With your recognition, we now have the fifth hero of this era. Yeah, this guy. Glad he is. <sighs> I am happy to see your plan advance one step further. It seems that my cry did not cause irreversible damage. What? Uh, what is that voice? Just as I thought, the Lord of the Night has awakened. The Lord of the Night? As in the one who rules over the Night Kingdom? I preside over a realm of souls. Due to my limited power, sleep is the only way I can extend my existence. When you activated the device, I awoke and could not hold back my cry. It is a sound that agitates souls. Most of you are unaffected because your souls are intact. But, with a damaged soul, the effect on your friend was heightened, and his soul almost shattered as a result. And yet, his soul remains in one piece. He managed to overcome this obstacle through sheer strength of will. A truly impressive feat for a human. So, was that what caused all his strange behavior earlier? No. An additional soul was affected. It tried to take refuge in the Oh, so Michelle is moving around. But is Venti watching? Ultimately expelled. However, this soul does not hail from that land or the Night Kingdom. Its origins remain a mystery to me. Activating the source mechanism was supposed to reconstruct the ley lines. Why did it awaken you instead? Because I was the one who originally constructed Natlan's ley lines, otherwise known as the Night Kingdom. The ancient battle between the Descender and the Dragons destroyed the corner of the world, allowing the Abyss to invade. Natlan's ley lines took the worst of the damage. To aid the people of Natlan, the Lord of the Night used the fragments of the old ley lines to reconstruct a similar network. That's how the Night Kingdom was born. The first Pyro Archon, Shibalanke, strengthened that realm and established the rules that aid our fight against the Abyss. The Ode of Resurrection and the Pilgrimage, both of which are practices that survive to this day. Oh, right! You said before it all came from the power of the heavens! The ancient dragons tried to use this device to strengthen the ley lines by imbuing them with power. Back then, this method was rather ineffective. They lacked the skills to navigate the intricate structure of the ley lines. And now, the structure of the ley lines has also completely changed. I am the only possible vehicle for the power generated by the device. It was an incredibly crude and painful method, but I managed to absorb some of that power. Now, I can speak to you like this and provide you with aid, such as rebuilding the ley lines once more at the cost of my own existence. But why would you make that kind of sacrifice? The people of Natlan worship me and call me their lord. In the ancient past, before we died out, we were also known by a different name. Angels. But adventurers like you are probably more familiar with our devolved form. Seelies. So, Seelies are angels. No wonder there are Seelies around here. A Seelie also helped us in the Night Kingdom! Few angels remain in that land. 
so the same is true of Seelys. Everyone rallied around me and offered their power to humanity to reconstruct the ley lines. Now, I have witnessed your determined pursuit for survival, and I have become your faith. I am very pleased. Moika, inheritor of Shibalonke's will, and leader of Naplan. Despite all the obstacles and misunderstandings, I have awoken. And the efforts of this Harbinger and the young hero have imbued me with power. Say the word. And I will once again work to fulfill my mandate. Just as I did thousands of years ago. You need only nod your head. For the sake of your people and your nation. For the sake of overcoming the invasion from the abyss. Give me your orders. I will not. After reconstructing new ley lines, you will cease to exist. The rules of Natlan are founded in the Night Kingdom. If you disappear, so do they. Not to mention, all the memories and legends recorded within the old ley lines will disappear along with you. The people of Natlan will face memory loss, mental disorders, and cognitive issues. Just like the consequences of using the Gnosis, that is a price I refuse to accept. Humanity's survival is worth any price. Once the Abyss runs rampant, all that remains will be a land of corpses and ruin. And when the new ley lines are invaded again by the Abyss? What then? What? How are future generations supposed to survive? A land without the Lord of the Night, without the protection of the rules, is doomed from the start. You presume too much. If you cannot ensure survival in the present, you have no right to think about the future. What will it take for you to realize that? How many hundreds or thousands will have to die? The situation hasn't gotten that dire yet, has it? Why are you so upset about that situation? Why? Because I am a survivor of Conria. What? It's the devastation and terror of the abyss with my own eyes. Oh, is that what your looks like Conria's outfit? I didn't know that. <sighs> That's right. My family. My comrades. My homeland. We're all lost to the abyss. And then you chose to work with Fatui. Interesting. It is an unforgettable pain. One that no amount of time could ever dull. Not even 500 years. You've experienced something similar, Mawika. You should know exactly what I mean. You're right. The pain, the regret, the catastrophe. They all haunt my dreams to this day. If I could go back, I would reject all false hope. I would do whatever it took to ensure their survival. You have that chance before you now. Why do you refuse to take it? Because we don't have the right to make that decision. We love this world because it contains everything we hold dear. Everything that has happened here has moved us, shaped us, and turned us into who we are today. I feel so tense this story, Chris. Giving up Just our like when I was in Fountain. Rewriting everything. The people of this world would then become fundamentally different beings. Their physical bodies, the only connection to their former selves. Even so, given enough time, a new civilization would inevitably flourish. If you believe in humanity, you should trust in their ability to create a new future. Or history could repeat itself. The abyss could invade once more, and it would all be for nothing. This is like a father and mother arguing. I love it. Can I say something? I once carried the hopes of many people, and I was also desperate to save our nation and the captain's plan i saw a chance to ensure our survival but as i was on the brink of death my wish for life and purpose was rekindled i've been very fortunate to be well cared for by all the people in my life i refuse to forget that my feelings were so strong they overrode my compulsion to sacrifice myself for their safety. No matter what path lies before us, we still have a destination. If we lose our way now, we will lose the meaning of our existence. That's you right. You tell them. That went yes! So we could have this chance against the Abyss. Their sacrifices are our blessings. Not only are their deeds and spirits exceptionally meaningful, they may also well be our path to victory. 
I don't want to give up just yet. Yeah, we're just one hero short. The power from the device will allow me to remain awake for some time. I stand at the ready should you change your mind. Even if she you says, fail, she says, fuck no. You need only send someone my way. My offer still stands. Humanity is truly remarkable. Even the gods in the heavens hold you to be special. Even now, you stand before me, dazzling, like the sun. You must have a profound connection to this land since you're so determined to save it. But what are you really trying to protect? The okay, land, so or its people? Hmm. Captain? Pretty sure he wants to hear what you have to say, Traveler. I want to win! Fine. I suppose we can wait. Now that Auroron has inherited the memories of his forebear, there's only one hero oh, yeah, left. Okay, Your okay. plan does have the potential to generate the best outcome. In the meantime, you shall have the aid of all the Fatui under my command. Thank you. Fuck. Having such a powerful harbinger on my side is a big advantage. I know we may never completely of, see eye to eye on what, what it means to protect life, but for now... I'm willing to fight by your side. Like, get a bull fist. They actually shook hands. All right, we should. Uh, That's a surprising. Oh the shit! Plan. They're probably still at each other's throats outside. Good idea. We need to explain the situation. I have you more for the Lord of the Knights. Oh, guess we'll stick around then. I'll update everyone outside. Let's meet back up at the stadium. Are we asking questions? Oh, we are, I'm guessing. I could leave out now, but no, let's do optional. Why is this like, this is like a Hong Kong style world, the end zone is on zero thing. Okay. You come to me with many questions, and you should be rewarded for your bravery. Ask, and you shall have the knowledge you seek. Top to bottom, let's go. How about the power of the heavens? They do not like being mentioned by name by any. Be it an ordinary human or one of the seven. They prefer to remain in the shadows as shades. The one you wish to know about? I call her the ruler of death. She helped Natlan establish the rules. It was also under her guidance that I created the Night Kingdom. It was an expression of love, as well as an act of reparation. She was seen as having significantly overstepped her authorities as a shade, which quite displeased the almighty... <sighs> ...heavenly principles. She succumbed to self-pity as a result, and no longer cared if others discussed her identity. Even so, her existence remains unknown to all but a select few. Self-pity? Please don't tell anyone I use that word. I'm just trying to speak plainly to conserve energy. You come to me with many questions. Okay, okay, after the of Fate. I'm not familiar with that concept. The device is capable of weaving and creating the ley lines, you say? Even I cannot create something from nothing. I can only reconstruct the ley lines by reassembling the yet intact components into a new structure. If that power were available to the people of Natlan, I have a new option against the abyss. You come to me with many questions about elemental energy and the okay. abyss. Phlogiston is to that primordial form of energy. The heavenly principles use phlogiston as a basis for the creation of elemental energy to develop a power to better counter the abyss. Have you heard of the concepts of the light realm and the human realm? That explanation might take too long. Light refracts into seven different colors, which we collectively refer to as a rainbow. Elemental energy is a similar concept. It's essentially the modern counterpart of phlogiston. You come to me with many questions. About my Asian name. Ah, yes. Yes. The artisan from the Children of Echoes has yet to mention the matter to me. Probably because the young girl from the Masters of the Nightwind is absent. No matter. I'll reach out in a dream and tell them what needs to be done. Young girl? What? Did I say something wrong? You come to me with- No, who was that? No more questions. Okay, we're done. Ah, it's the Fatui! Oh, 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 never mind. You're actually good, guys. Can we actually speak to you? Oh, we could. 
Your captain says a group of us need to stay behind to guard the source mechanism. It's extremely important. Of course, you're free to come and go as you please. D thanks. I kicked you as well many times, and your partners now are friends. <laughs> Guy, hope for now or forever. In that case, allow me to formally welcome the Fatui to our cause. We now face a common enemy. It's time to put our differences behind us and look to the future. As for Auroron, his actions may have been out of line, but I don't intend to punish him right now. I'd rather give him a chance to prove himself. A magnanimous decision. We're back! Whoa, seeing the two of you chatting like this, Paimon almost feels like she's dreaming. Their strength in numbers. This may be an unexpected outcome, but a favorable one nonetheless. Now that we're all here, I have some questions of my own. Tell me. How did you discover the source mechanism? We weren't getting any closer to obtaining the Gnosis, so I had my men scour Natland for a different option. Auroron helped as well. No! We tracked that down three it. scholars. Abarawa, Bosomtwe, and Kushtal, and combined the results of their research to locate this ancient device. <sighs> I've never heard those names before. Seems like my own investigation failed to locate some critical personnel. I'm just not sure how I missed them. Strange. Perhaps they simply live in seclusion. In any case, their results speak for themselves. That's true. Now we have another option at our disposal. Compared to using the Gnosis, our current plan will buy us some time. And if all else fails, we still have this plan as a last resort. Even though executing it will come at a heavy cost. But that means making everyone forget their past! We should definitely try to avoid it if we can! Oh, uh, actually, speaking of the Gnosis, how did you know what it could do? That story begins with the Cataclysm 500 years ago. I failed to save Conria from the rampage of the Abyss. When the situation became. So he was one of us! I fled to Natlan with the remainder of my platoon, only to find that Natlan had fallen victim to the same tragedy. I defended this land for quite some time, and, in the process, met the chief of the Masters of the Nightwind, Aizu. I'm sure many people viewed Conria as the cause of the tragedy, but Aizu was kind of the same. Shadow, but I want to see how it looks like from underneath the max. Maybe one day we'll see it. From that moment, I made it my mission to aid Natlan. In battle, a warrior fights to win. Even though my homeland was lost, I was already committed to this fight. Together, Aizu and I fought many battles and overcame countless hardships. However, he was unable to escape his fate. And in his final moments, told me the secret of the Gnosis. So it was him. He recommended using the Gnosis on several occasions, even before the tragedy. But I turned him down each time. You knew him, and you fought for Natlan all those years ago. Why don't I recognize you? It must be the mask. <clears throat> even without the mask, my past appearance is long gone. Even with the curse of immortality, the flesh still rots. People been saying that. Okay. Wait, do you know someone named Dainsleth? That problem doesn't seem quite so extreme for him. You've met him already? Yeah, yep. a bunch of times. Sounds like you know him too. During the age of Conria, all I knew was his name. The last time I saw him in person, he was traveling with the princess. My sister. He carries a degree of pain and hatred that far surpasses my own. Was it really because of my sibling? Yes. You're the brother of the princess. Given the role I held in Conria, I would prefer not to harm you. Although, this is likely a self-imposed burden. If the princess saw me now, oh, I doubt she would even recognize me. As for your question, I don't know how Dane managed to slow the deterioration of his body. My appearance is much changed. And that's not the only thing. Even my physical strength is a shadow of what it once was. I would have never known. During our battle, it felt like I was fighting against the pinnacle of human strength. <laughs> and I still lost. I deserve no praise for that outcome. Still, it's a shame we never faced off 500 years ago. You could have seen what I was truly capable of. I agree. 
Had we fought then, I'd also have been more motivated to go all out. So, all that commotion back at the stadium, and you're saying neither of you were using your full strength? Nope. <laughs> I'd say we're evenly matched. If we face off again, victory will come down to who wants it more. I imagine you held back since there were spectators around that could have gotten hurt. But capitalizing on that situation would have only led to a hollow victory. It would have been no different than taking hostages. My goal was the Gnosis, and I failed to obtain it. That means I lost. Plain and simple. Speaking of Gnosis. Her Majesty, that Tsaritsa, allows every harbinger the freedom to pursue the I believe she's the Kyle icon, right? When the time comes, that freedom can take precedence over her orders. That's why our methods can be so radically different. Despite sharing the same goal and the same sovereign, I needed the Gnosis because I came here to save Natlan. That was my primary motive. Once Natlan is saved, if the Gnosis still remained in my possession, I could bring it back to Snezhnaya. My decision regarding the Gnosis will not change, so let's focus on the Abyss for now. Great! I... what happens when all six heroes are together? You will probably unleash some kind of power. We will unleash a great power that can be used to thwart the Abyss. But only once. It's a power that Shibalanke gained from Renova. Renova is a god whose existence predates any Archon. You can think of her like an emissary of the Heavenly Principles. She controls the power of death. Wait, is that why you have the Ode of Resurrection? Yes. Renova also orchestrated Natlan's rules. As for the Divine Throne, like I said before, when a human ascends to the Divine Throne, their inner flame will awaken. The size of the yes! flame depends on the person's potential. The same principle applies to the ruler of death's power. With one notable distinction. The amount of power inherited will not change Wait, depending on was. your ability to tolerate it. In other words, it's a kind that of power was. that not everyone can withstand. But if you survive the trial, Scuzzles you will gain unprecedented the strength and the ability to harness powers more formidable than any Archon. That still sounds really risky. We cannot walk this path without accepting risk. Mualani charged into the Night Kingdom despite the Abyssal contamination. Auroron fought back from the brink of death. In the face of their bravery, I must respond in kind. That is my duty. Spoken like a true leader. <sighs> Alright, that's enough for one day. You should head back and get some rest. I'm sure you're exhausted. The Abyss will likely sense the change in Auroron. It's possible the frequency of the attacks will increase. There are many challenges to come, so we need to be prepared. When you put it that way, Paimon feels even more exhausted. <sighs> Alright, let's head back. Surely, Paimon, if you see my back, I swear to God, don't cry to me if you see me crushed in your bedtime, okay? Actually, I want to hear the conversation with these two before we go. Now that we're working together, We'll need to coordinate our efforts. I'll leave a portion of my forces for you to command. That will definitely help relieve some pressure. You're sure they won't object? It's an order. I will make that clear. Excellent. I appreciate your trust. Hmm. And people for some reason, they ship them together! Need a I guess that's fine. I mean, they're adults, so it's actually okay. It's no big deal. <laughs> oh my god! That hurts. It's my favorite people! Stay still, you piece of shit! Your wounds need some time to heal, you need to rest for a few more days! The monsters keep increasing in number. It's like something changed. It's definitely unusual and we should all be careful. But don't worry too much. You have us by your side. If there's one thing the Abyss fears, it's strength. If they think we're easy prey, they've got another thing coming. Oh, uh, someone's calling us. Jesus, we're coming! Jesus Christ! Hold, hold on, dude. Uh, something wrong, traveler? Definitely, Dread is getting stronger. Do we really have time to wait for the final heal to appeal? Hmm. Who knows? Is will they not? Wait, why is there optional objection? Let's go to the optional objections. They're not that far away. I want to see what they are actually. Let's start with right here. Hello, Kajin. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna go around circles. Who's this over here who's speaking? Who I <laughs> Hi! I don't 
to do, Wesson boy? Can I speak to you, Fuss? Uh, nope. We can't give any of these to our soldiers. They were not tempered correctly at the forge. Well, Oof. Weapons and shields are vital for the survival of our people. I know we're under a lot of pressure, but we can't compromise on quality. Listen, I'm, I'm not blaming you. I know this isn't your usual standard of work. Why don't, why don't you all just take a break and I'll take care of the pieces. Like, thanks, madam. You got great tits, by the way. Why are you looking there? We must walk and focus. Uh, hey, Shilonin. Is something wrong? <laughs> Nothing I can handle. Just uh, some rushed, defective goods, that's all. Even the most skilled craftsmen make mistakes under pressure, and if you two want to avoid the same fate, you should really get some rest. You must be exhausted, too. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't worry. I like it that way. You're a sleepy cheetah. That's what I call it. Okay, one more talk to go. Okay, who is this next person? Oh, Kanich! Guess I'll come now. Anyhow. Kanich! You made it back in one piece! Oh, these must be friends of yours. Well, head out then. <laughs> See you later. Just be shovels the graveyard and just testing it out. Just now push that. How about this like a ha? Probably annoying little shit that people would like. <laughs> Nah, that sounds stupid. Probably like Boyd. I appreciate the concern, by Um, hold on. Despite a hard description, the city fucking kite's so smooth, the captain forces all and let Mario, it was a tough fucking fight. Y we were. No, that part sounds good. We were prepared to retreat at any moment, and now the part Alka and the captain are working together. Not that Alka I was expecting, that's for sure. Yeah, a lot happened while we were in the ruin. We'll tell you about it some other time. <laughs> well, at least the problem between events was step further. This is the best outcome we could have hoped for. We really appreciate all your help. But we have to keep pushing forward. Sabu and I were just about to head out. Actually, my tribe was calling for messengers. Oh, we won't keep you then. Let's talk later! Yeah. Ah! Little Kanish motherfucker! Think that we can just leave without cousin the almighty dragon local? Uh huh! Hey! Motherfucker! Motherfucker! Get right up, you bitch! <laughs> Yeah, why not, people? But I said it. Oh, uh, I was about to sleep. Granny? <sighs> What's going on now? What's wrong, Granny? It looks like you have something to say. <sighs> you know exactly what you did. You need some sense knocked into you, that's what I think. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> now that you have nowhere to run, that's when you apologize? You couldn't wait to run off last time. And the time before that. Uh, Pretty sure I apologized those times too. What exactly were you thinking? Being a wanted criminal is one thing, but then you also tried to pull off that whole thing in the ancient ruin. I'm not the one who needs an apology. Apologize to yourself for risking your life. Okay. I'm sorry. <sighs> I don't have anything to say for myself, Granny. Yell at me all you want. I know I messed up. You better be sincere. This is an incredibly serious matter. I'm being sincere, I promise. I've seriously reflected on my actions. I know what I did was risky, and I know I made some bad choices. But I don't regret it. I just had to do something. Not because I thought I was special, but because I wanted to help Natlan as much as I can. Of course, in the end, I just ended up causing more trouble, so you're right. My apology doesn't mean much. I don't know what else I can say. You even had Aoife bring me that gem. A simple thank you isn't enough, but still... Thank you, Granny. Uh, you're welcome. Just make sure to thank Aoife sometime. <laughs> I will. Uh, anyway, don't feel too grateful. I tampered with the bag to copy a portion of your memories. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> of course you didn't. You forget how many years I have on you. Like you could uncover one of my tricks. Ugh, anyway, I have something else to tell you. The Pyro Archon has discussed your case with the others. Many of your actions violated the rules of Natlan, and you should understand you'll have to take responsibility for that. I understand. But your efforts weren't entirely meaningless in the end. 
In addition to giving us another failsafe, you saved yourself with sheer force of will and managed to become a hero. Huh. Not too shabby, grandson. Did the traveler in Paimon tell you to say that? What? No! I said that because I mean it! I can't believe you're complimenting me at a time like this. You normally let your fist do the talking. Uh, you're not off the hook just yet. I told the traveler I was going to break your legs, and I meant every part of it. <laughs> Could you not? <laughs> I still need them to walk. Mm, trying to negotiate, are you? All right. Make me an offer. So she was gonna break the legs? That was a joke! Given all the good things that I managed to accomplish, can you let me off the hook this one time? I promise to do better in the future. <sighs> Fine. I can let this slide for now. But I'll be watching. We'll see if I change my mind. Oh, is that a chest? I didn't see that. Didn't expect to see you here. Hello. Taking these out with your grandson? Yes. Uh, looking after these little rascals is rather exhausting. Taking care of the traveler isn't easy either. Paimon's life is an uphill battle. The fuck you mean? Traveler, Paimon. I want to thank you for your help back at the ruin. Just do anything like you ever did again. I won't. Let's get together sometime. If Auroron really wants to thank you, he can treat us all to a tasty meal. That sounds just like my son would say too. Sounds great. We'll be there. Uh huh. Now can I rest? Open! I love who does that. Ooh, it does at the beginning. Now we go to sleep and see how the day gone. If you're done for the day, we should get some rest. Paimon has a feeling we'll need it for tomorrow. Yeah. What's... Uh, yeah, let's rest. That night. Why was I no? You ready? Yep. Let's go meet the Lord of the Night. Oh, we're going. Oh my so, god. So, this is where you heard the Lord of the Night? Guess that means she really has awakened. Hopefully we made it before she falls asleep again. Fret not. I am still here. For a weak life form, falling asleep is no less taxing an exercise than staying awake. I, I'm sorry for disturbing your rest, but there's something we didn't have the chance to ask you earlier. We need to forge a new ancient name for the Traveler, but we ran into a problem. He's not from Natland, so there are no records of him in the Night Kingdom. I see. Mawika must hold him in high regard. It would seem the two of you are not simply here on her orders. So, what say you? Do you believe this traveler to be deserving? Mm -hmm. <sighs> Speak your mind. There are no others here. You are both my children. Both children of Natlan. I would hear your opinions on the matter. He is special. He saved Kachina and devoted himself to helping us avert this disaster. Natlan owes him a debt, but that debt has not been repaid, and with an ancient name, we can at least guarantee his safety. Even though that guarantee will come at the cost of your own life. Yes. So, it's true. Forging an ancient name consumes the life of the craftsman. Forging an ancient name is an act of creation. It involves taking disparate concepts throughout the Night Kingdom and condensing them into a heroic epic. But it takes time for the new concept to be integrated into that realm. If the ancient name is like a seed, then the life of the craftsman is the outer shell, serving as its protection. Once that process is complete, the seed will sprout, and having served its purpose, the outer shell will gradually disappear. Forging an ancient name is no easy task. And creating one for an outlander makes it even more challenging. Still, if you're here, 
That means your mind is set. Yes, because I believe forging this name will be well worth it. We don't know how long we'll be able to hold back the abyss or what the final price of averting this disaster will be. If giving up my life means that all the people of Natlang can have a future, then the sacrifice is practically negligible. Even when I'm staring death in the face, I don't think I'll regret this decision. I bear the name Baraka. This is a part of my duty. I understand. The chance may be exceedingly slim, but you still want to seize it, because this could be the final step to victory. And you, Sidlali, the anxiety you feel. It's because you saw something. Yes. Something you were not meant to see. So, you know about that too. What is she talking about? I've had concerns for a long time. Malika's plan needs too much time. And too many things can go wrong. The Masters of the Nightwind have a ceremony that can be used to glimpse the future. It's just... Using this power on the Pyro Archon has always been seen as a taboo. And you did it anyway? What, what did you see? Death. <sighs> a key part of Malika's plan is using the six heroes to release the power Shabalanke obtained from the ruler of death. Considering its origins, the price of using that power is death. You, you're saying... Mawika is going to die in this war against the Abyss? Yes. I can't just ignore what I saw. That's why I need the Traveler's power. I need the power of a Descender. Don't forget, Sidlali. Even if it may seem like someone is fated to die, the nature of death and fate are different. Fate indicates what will happen in the future. The time, manner, and place are all predetermined. But death is different. Death is a rule. The ruler of death's power will allow Mawika to triumph over the abyss. But she must offer her own life in the process. The ruler of death cares little for the time and manner of a death. She simply guarantees that it will occur. Fate may be able to influence the timing. But that is all the Traveler can change. If, 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 wait, you're, you're saying we might be able to change when she dies, but not the outcome? I cannot help you with this, I'm afraid. It's beyond my capabilities. I wish it wouldn't die. Mm -mm. Malika knows about all this, doesn't she? Yes. I imagine she has long accepted this eventuality. Well, I can't. She's so strong. She never gives up. Never rests until a problem is solved. She's not the type of person to just quietly accept her death. The Traveler shares oh, yeah, that quality. That's why I think this gamble is worth it. Together, I know they can overcome the impossible. Be it fate or death. We shall have to wait and see. But I will curb my right. expectations. My time Help. is running out. The... It is my honor to witness humanity in this moment of absolute determination. We won't forget your contributions. Once we deal with the Abyss, we'll find a way to keep you alive. Thank you for saying that. But there is nothing you can do. How many years of life are enough? Ten? One hundred? One thousand? Ten thousand? The Night Kingdom will disappear. The humans will continue to fight against the Abyss. And in the end, all will cease to exist. When you consider all of that, extending my life is meaningless. That's what makes us different. Even if our end comes tomorrow, humanity will still do whatever it takes to survive today. You'll tell them. Exactly. Yeah, Times girls. Like these always fill me with admiration and reinforce my commitment to the mandate I shoulder. My creator was right in esteeming you as special above others. Here. This is my gift to you and an extension of my will. It can record the traveler's experiences in this land, whether from the past or the future. With it, you can forge the ancient name you desire. And the traveler will also become a hero forever recorded in the memory of Natlan. Are you telling me? Well, if you either look me, those two, we become the next hero. 
thank you. We're sorry to ask this of you when your strength is already all but spent. Really? Thank you so much. Your thanks are unnecessary. This is the least that an angel can do. Time for you to leave. It's getting dark. Uh-oh. So what about B? I can't sleep with all the noise outside! Go check it out. Uh, okay. After we do with this one, I'm gonna stop it there for the next part. What is going? Oh. Hey girls, I just woke up from a morning. Was this last night or was this morning now? Shimon and Silali, is there a reason you're up so early? Oh, it's morning. We went to see the Lord of the Night, and she gave us this. Like I said before, I couldn't forge your ancient name because there was no record of you in the Night Kingdom. But with this, we can finally record your deeds. Just keep it with you during your time in that one. And eventually, it'll be full of your adventures. Really? What pirates eat? Oh! Hold on. Um. This is. Your journey is when the missions land. Together, shuffle, shine with the. I didn't read the whole thing! The world of the will buzz and fire when it comes to the price. Um, uh, the Star translated to Disney and the greatest companion. That's Paimon. You will encounter unto this taste fizzy for the first time. And this, Bidder. All you may sacrifice to the Bidder land. land. Okay, that's Owawan, that's Kachinas, that's Paimon, that's... It's Shinoli, and that's... And this is... I think that's Milani's? Just two more, right? Yes. It's not a concrete medium. It reflects the Lord of the Night's will, and shows what she wants you to see. Oh, in other words, don't worry about his form. When you want to check the contents, just take it out and have a look. Sounds convenient! It's also super light and doesn't take up too much space. This is a really awesome gift. Uh, it didn't come a ton of more, right? You think the Lord of the Night wants more? Uh nope. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, you two. It's... You know, like you saw yesterday, aiding humanity is Thanks, the Lord I of the guess. Night's mandate. She would have willingly reconstructed Natland's ley lines at the cost of her own existence. She wouldn't she wouldn't ask anything in return for this. Goodbye. Exactly. Just take it. Well, if you say so. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, thank God you're here! Two pairs of tanky for Foxy is really fucking bad! Two pairs of tanky we need help! So soon? We just fought them off. We can figure that out later. Let's go. For fuck's sake. Well, I'm saving next episode. Oh, well, I'm gonna avail. When I subscribe, I'll see you there. Sayonara.